All right, we are back. Uh, we're going to start our next breakout session, Take Control of Flowback with Well Control by Greg McDonald. So Greg is our Well Control product manager, and uh, take it away, Greg. Thanks. Thanks, Philip. So earlier today, we uh, announced the new apps, fingerprinting and trip sheet app um, that are, you know, really put in place to help um, put, you know, bring the like safety data to the forefront. Uh, monitoring pits, um, monitoring the trip sheet is something that's always, you know, done on location manually. Um, and it's very reliant on, you know, a couple people um, keeping a really close eye. So what we've done is we automated some of that and we've as well, you know, you know, kept it a record of it so you can look back and, and look at trends, uh, analyze why things happened, and, you know, see things coming in the future. So going a little deeper into the trip sheet app that we, we deployed, um, so it's the, the, con the concept is very simple. Every time the, sh the pump shut down during a drilling operation, the um, well will begin have a flowback signature afterwards. Um, most of the time, there's a, there's a little bit of ballooning after the pumps are shut down. Um, and you know that can be see, seen here in the gain in the active tank. Um, so we monitor a few key um, mud pit channels. Uh, so the first and most important being the active tank. Um, you know that's the the active tank that you're you're lined up to at the moment. Um, as well, you know we also monitor the the trip tank. The trip tank is a secondary tank, and then as, um, to kind of correlate the data, we look at flow in and flow out. Um, values from the, the the rig sensors so we record all those those datums after the um after and right before the connection or the pumps are turned off and and then we record it so you can see them in the the app here so um, the most recent is shown as bold so that's the most recent or the active fingerprint um, and then you can see below uh faded out are the historical ones so there's a few different uh ways you can look at the data so you can either for, for this particular demo, I, I put some custom ones in, but you can actually just leave it in like last five flowback mode. And that way, as you're drilling along, you always have the live and the last five showing on the screen uh, to watch the trend. Um, in addition to, you know, seeing these, uh, the, the visualization in the apps and watching monitoring the apps, you can create custom alerts um, based off the data um, to fire uh, when certain situations are seen. Um, so in addition, you, if you want to go to custom, you can go pick, you know, some random flowbacks um, from previous in the well as well to see. Um, so you can kind of view it uh, however you want to see the data. So uh, it's an app platform. So if you want to see everything in one big app, um, I can show you that right here. You can expand the app um, and then you know, make it massive on your screen. If you want to get really into it, you can add multiple channels. So, you know, if you want to add all of your channels, it'll take a second to load here, um, but they'll all pop up. So you can see all of your channels at once and you can see right here where the, uh, the pumps come down, right? And then you start seeing that ballooning effect in your pits. Um, and so you can kind of analyze the last few and make a decision to, you know, provide remediation if something is, uh, is out of the ordinary. So for, for example, this one you're seeing is quite a bit higher, um, a quite a bit larger ballooning event than the previous connection. So you might, you know, have your, you might call your rig crew and say, hey, um, let's take a look, see what's happening, monitor, shut in, whatever you've got to do to kill the well. Or maybe, you know, maybe it plateaus here um, and you go back to drilling and you're just fine. Um, as well as seeing kick events in the fingerprinting app, you could also see the opposite. So the opposite of ballooning, um, which is a loss, you would see a loss in, in pit volume um, and that also indicates another type of problem, right? Obviously loss of expensive drilling fluid. So it's a pretty neat app um, and, it, and it updates in real time. So let me minimize it really fast. All right. So the trip sheet app uh, is an application that, you know, like I said, is automating a traditionally manual process. Um, I can't say that enough. You know, this, this really is reliant on somebody on the rig floor putting the right thing in his calculator and writing the right thing in his books. So we've automated that. So you can see here, it's really, it's a really basic, simple table. Um, you can see the date, the stand number, um, you know, whether, what, what direction you're tripping, start depth, end depth, and then, you know, going over to the right, the more important values, your start and end volumes, um, and then the displacement that was caused by tripping in or out that stand. Um, and then you can kind of see a trend. So 
Um, you can set different um, limits for your trend in the settings, but uh, basically right here, if you saw a trend and you know, okay, you're losing mud, losing mud, and then all of a sudden you start gaining, this could be an indication of uh, an event occurring down hole while you're tripping in or out. Um, as well, we give, you know, basically whatever columns you want to see are available. So, you know, there's a few other available. And then if you, you know, want to see just, let's just say you want to see just um, the date time and, you know, a few columns, you know, you can do that too. Hit OK. Boom. You can kind of customize the table to see exactly what you want. Um, so when this is working live, this is on a historical well, but when, when it's working live, you'll have readouts of the most recent um, tripping activity. So um, you'll see your hold up, your trip tank active uh, value and your you know last displacement. Um, so you get kind of like a quick indication of what's going on this very moment without having to go into the table. Um, as well, if you want to kind of compare what you saw last trip to this trip, you can go in here to the BHA selector, select a different BHA, pop to the different BHA, look through it. You can see um, in this example, uh, well, if I had all the, the columns, you would see in this example, they probably tripped in and out on this particular BHA. You'd see the data for that and you can go through and analyze it. Um, as well, if you wanted to kind of filter by trip in or trip out, you can use these filters here um, and it'll filter in and out the data. So, but yeah, so those are the two well control apps we, we've built. Um, and, you know, these are, are really great tools for visualization of, of real time mud pit data to prevent hazards.